Hello guys, Jalaga Vlog back with another video, and today I'm going to be reviewing the Lego Ninjago Overlord Dragon. This is set 71742, set for ages 7 and up, and is 372 pieces. Comes with two minifigures and retails for $30 in the US. So right off the bat, $30 for this set is an amazing deal, but that does not mean that the set is perfect. I think the reason why this dragon looks so big is really because of the wings. We have these nice purple blades, which originally I'm pretty sure came in a gold color for like uh, swords, but this is supposed to be kind of like a skeletal dragon, uh, I think so a little bit, but it's actually supposed to be the Overlord himself in his true form. Um, so yeah, it doesn't really make sense that he's on here, but you can just take him off if you like. These wings can be positioned like all the way up to the front, but I'm pretty sure it's only that one. Other than that, you can't really move these. Um, same thing with the other one here. You can move the arms pretty well, or I should say, yeah, the arms, you can move those pretty well, or the wings. Uh, so yeah, you have two little fingers. This is a two-legged dragon, which doesn't really stand up the best. I mean, it's easy to stand it up, but you kind of do have to be a little more careful with it. And that's not the set itself. That's just all two-legged dragons always have that issue. But for show accuracy, it does have two legs in the show, so I can't complain about that. We also have this nice tail, which you can kind of just wag like that, which is cool. Um, we have these blades, again, that were on the wings, but on the tail to just make it look longer, which I'm perfectly okay with. You can position these in different ways too, like that, or apart, straight like that, or whatever you like. And then we have a whole bunch of these purple spike pieces, which I have never really gotten a lot of, so I'm 100% okay with getting a whole bunch of these here. Flipping the set the other way, you can see these like claw feet here, which looks really cool. Um, the toes are again made with those uh, purple spike pieces, which fit pretty well in my opinion. And then for the underside, you can see we have this nice pink lightning piece, and then this kind of chest armor, which looks really nice. It reminds me of the armor that the Overlord had in Rebooted, kind of. I don't know if that's just me, but yeah, we have this nice little dish piece in that translucent purple there, which looks nice. And I've never gotten a pink lightning piece before. This is, for me, a really kind of rare color to have the lightning piece in, so I'm really happy to have it here. And although you're not really going to be seeing it from here, you can kind of see it from the side, and I'm happy that they even did that. Taking a look at the head, it looks really nice and it actually matches really well with the uh, Lloyd's Golden Dragon for the Legacy and the original. I prefer the original way much uh, more, but we have this really nice head here. The only thing I don't like is this, uh, like the, they added these like spike pieces, which you can take off. Yeah, but I don't know why they're there. It looks like it has a beard and I don't like that and it just kind of makes the head look a little weird. Um, but yeah, so other than that, it's pretty cool. I like the golden teeth here. And he looks very evil with some, I guess, a pattern going from his eyes around to the, I guess, the back of the head. Um, it's just connected by this little joint here, which you can move completely like that. And then you can move the neck as well, up, down, kind of like side to side, really. And it looks really nice. And it's actually pretty movable. Like, I'm surprised on how well articulated this dragon is. One thing that you really cannot do with any of the other two-legged dragons is just kind of plop him down and expect him to kind of just stand up. But this dragon does that perfectly, in my opinion. I think that you don't even, like, honestly, you could just pick him up, put him down, and it's not like he's going to completely topple over like the ice dragon from that ice emperor castle. He really just stays there in the same spot if you really want him to, and it's really well done. I think the toes definitely help out with the sturdiness of the dragon, and I think that they did it very, very well. I think they handled this really nicely. Let me move the wing up. Just the feet and the design of actually making it look like a dragon and not like the kind of robotic dragons that we've been getting. I think it's a very nice transition and they did it really nicely. But not every Lego set is perfect. And that's because they didn't include any cloth for these wings. I know it's supposed to be kind of bare, um, but like they really, I feel like they kind of missed an opportunity and they really should have. It would have made the dragon a perfect dragon in my opinion. I, I would have loved it. I do, but I think that this, it could have benefited from having these like big cloth wings because then it really would have sold it as this is one of the most best dragons. And I don't know, I mean, this is really nice. I'm not complaining so much for it, but they actually did this with Zippy the dragon or the jungle dragon. And that was specifically because that dragon was not really good at flying. So it kind of sells the same idea here. I wish they would have added a cloth piece of wings and that would have made the perfect dragon. But it's kind of, it, I want to say it's minor, but you know, it kind of does bug me a little bit. 
but honestly this dragon is so great that I can't let it really weigh this down. Moving on to our minifigs, we have our first one here, which is Golden Lloyd, and I mean, for some reason, let me grab the other one, because I do have the other one. This was the other one that was that came in the golden mech, and for some reason, I just love that he has a regular face and the golden face. Meanwhile, that is very cool. Um, it's just, it looks so much better. And it's funny because in the show, when this was the season two finale, he had a, you know, the regular yellow face, but for the Lego version, we actually got a golden face, which is inaccurate. And then we also got the golden face again, which was inaccurate. But now that we have the regular face for the set that the first one originally made a mistake on, now they fixed it, but we already have a one that's with a golden face. So, kind of weird to follow, but I just love this one a lot more. I really have no idea. This one just looks great. Um, you can see, this is literally the same one that came out in 2019. Um, you have the some really nice golden legs there. Some wraps, buckles, and the belt going down to the legs, which looks really nice with that tint of green there. And then we have the nice torso, which is just pretty much golden with some green buckles, which don't really look the best, but I mean, I don't know. I just wish there was a little bit more green. And then we have the mask that's green, but I wish it was a bright green because I think it would have looked a lot better. Um, I think we should have gotten a little bit more green. Maybe the green tails would have been nice to have at the end there. Um, but yeah, still a really nice minifigure. I like this a lot. You can see he has the Season 11 armor piece in gold there with the regular Ninjago movie face. And then you take everything off, and then you can see the back printing, which looks really nice with a very angry dragon with some more buckles that line up with the front. That Lloyd minifigure was not the only confusing thing about this set, because this set takes place in Season 2, and we should have gotten this Overlord because it came in Lloyd's Golden Dragon, which was also in Season 2. This is a Season 3 based Overlord, but came in a Season 2 set. But when we actually did get Season 3 sets, we got this Overlord, which is belongs to Season 2. So we got some very weird mixed up minifigures going on. But on to the actual minifigures. This minifigure looks amazing, but isn't amazing. It looks great, and I love it a lot. And then we even have this ghost piece hanging down at the bottom, which looks really nice. Although I do agree that they should have given him a dress piece, like he had in the actual rebooted show, as long as the helmet. So basically, this helmet will not really stay on that well, because the Mr. E armor kind of pushes it upward a little bit, doesn't allow it to actually stay on, which it can pop off very easily with little to no effort. So if you just completely take it off, we have a horrifying but awesome look of the Overlord, which Oh my gosh. Um, and then you can see some back printing. He actually does have a back head, which if you get too tired of the helmet, you can just take that off and you still have some back head printing, which is nice. And then you can see if I take the actual armor piece off and everything, you have some golden, what looks to be like golden master armor. And that actually looks really, really good. You can see that purple with the armor there. And is that Nia's symbol? That really looks like Nia's symbol. I don't know if that it is exactly it i don't have the figure to show you so i'm just gonna pop an image up right there i don't know if it's actually her symbol um i, I believe for the deep stone and like the air jitsu but it looks very similar to that which is very very interesting something else that is very interesting i should probably reassemble the overlord figure um but yeah something else that's very interesting is his lightning piece that he has here let me just put it back together Okay, so you can see it's actually in this, like, pink color, which is very interesting because I don't know if this has ever came out before, but this is my first time getting this, which is actually really cool, and I actually really like this a lot. It's just on this, like, um, power blast holder, I think. I don't even know. It's just supposed to look like he's shooting it out of his hand. So, yeah, that's really cool. That's a nice piece. I really like that a lot. Um, but, yeah, so... We have the same kind of piece that we've gotten before with the last Overlord, and the same piece that also came with, like, all the ghosts, but obviously in the black and purple color, which uh, looks really nice, and yeah, that's pretty much this figure. Before I give you my final thoughts, I just thought that I should show you where you can actually place the Overlord on the dragon. You can just have uh, these two studs right there, and then you just kind of sit him on there like you saw before. That is, if you like the idea of the Overlord not turning into this dragon, just having this be his dragon. So yeah, just a nice little thing to add on there. And it doesn't really look, you can kind of just cover it up with some like 
purple pieces there, which looks nice. Um, so yeah, it's really not that big of a deal if you have them on or off. It actually doesn't really look like anything different than just a dragon. Okay, so for $30, you're getting a pretty big and nice functioning dragon. You're getting an exclusive minifigure and an updated minifigure. Honestly, I would kind of be okay with this being $40, but the fact that they made it 30 and still this big is honestly amazing. I knew I always really wanted to get this set. I just never really came around to it because every time I went to the stores, it would be gone. But I'm really happy that I found this set. I love it a lot. The only thing that's bothering me is that I wish we would have gotten these cloth uh, wing pieces or wing, I guess, well, cloth. And then his helmet is really bothering me. How it just, it literally won't stay on. It always plops off. But I mean, I guess that's a minor nitpick, um, but other than that, I'd say that this set is pretty good. If you're a fan of Ninjago, and especially if you like the final battle, and if you've been wanting an Overlord Dragon and wanted to know if this is good, definitely 100%. I would definitely get this. I would recommend it to anyone who's a, you know, maybe a big fan of Ninjago or just likes Ninjago Dragons. I think this is a great set, and for $30, you can't really go wrong with it. Anyway guys, that's going to be it for this video. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and please turn notifications on so that way you know when I post more videos like this. I also do stop motion, and my Kai vs. Lloyd is actually coming pretty soon, so if you want to see that, make sure you turn notifications on and stay tuned. Go follow my Instagram and my TikTok, they will both be in the link in the description, and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.